Welcome back to the channel and today we finally put on the OBX ITBs. While I get these mounted up, let me show you some of the things I had to do to make these ITBs a little bit more compatible with the S2000. I was a little disappointed that the opening to the ports weren't even shaped properly. I had seen a bunch of these on S2KI and none of them were anywhere near this bad. So I took my die grinder and my Honda out of heat shield gasket put some bolts in, marked up the area, shaped it out so it's gasket match now. After the ports were shaped properly, if you look into the runners, you can see there's a bunch of extra like aluminum casting in there. So I decided I was gonna clean that up and I did that with a 50 millimeter cylinder hone. Just put it on a drill and kind of like how you would hone a, a cylinder bore, just in and out movements with some <laughs> with some trans transmission oil, and then it gives you a nice clean finish. This one here hasn't been touched. This one's got a little bit of work done. This one just had its first pass with the hone, and this one's probably about on its fourth. Been done. So with the kit, there is a lot of uh, modifications you have to make to make this a full bolt-on affair for the S2000. One of them is drilling out the coolant temp sensor hole right here and then retapping it. So this needs to be drilled out the metric 12 and re-threaded with the metric 12 by one and a half thread pitch. So we're gonna do that now and then throw it on the car, fill it up with coolant. That way we can let our idle for a lot longer and see if we have any additional adjustments we have to make on the throttles themselves. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then join you guys back. All right, so we got that all drilled out and tapped to accept the sensor. I uh, got a Teflon taped, and let's get ready to throw it in the car and then fill her up with coolant. I also had to do an external fuel pressure regulator and make some new uh, fuel lines. So these are PTFE, they're not your standard stainless steel braided AN lines. These will support any kind of fuel I want to put in it. This nice fancy coated one is from my radium fuel rail kit. I just reused that. Just added the Aramoto fuel pressure regulator and a couple lines. I think I'm gonna upgrade everything to dash eight uh, on a later date and time, just so I have room to grow if I ever decide to turbo it or if we get any more crazy around the motor build.
we got it up and running. We're uh, breathing through it right now. Probably going to add a little bit to that. Starting to hold it idle, so that's good. A little over a thousand. Kitchen spies are listening in on us. And so, yeah, we're just going to let it bleed, and if anything exciting happens, so I'll grab the camera. and repeat for each cylinder with the synchrometer. Each one is going to have that little brass 8mm with the, I forget which size, hex key in the middle to adjust the throttle stop on the plate. All of them are going to have it except for number two. So that's going to be this little Allen key right there. So you're just going to rinse and repeat for the rest of them until they're all at four and a half kgs of air coming in. I also crudely placed this older style well actually this is one that does come on the s2000 i took this off of one of my old prelude manifolds um intake air temperature sensor originally i had it in the vacuum block but my iats were way through the roof i figured it must have been pulling like heat from like the coolant line since it's all very close and tight underneath there so i moved it up here and my iats dropped to about about 50 degrees cooler than what they were in the actual vacuum block I had to make sure my big ass didn't dent the fender. Oh, oh, this shit's flexing. All right, so that's where the S2000 is now. Um, in all fairness, this was done summer of last year and there's maybe like, probably the intro section with the little montage. All of that was new stuff from probably like March this year. Haven't really been keeping up with it like I could, like I should. Um, kind of lost the uh, namesake of the channel Mojo he passed and I haven't really had the motivation to do this and leading up to it I was just spending more time with him and didn't care about a car I'd, I don't drive so that's why this was dragged out and why the S2000 hasn't been seen since I think June of last year but it's hasn't gone anywhere it's the current current state of the car um, the next steps for it I think are gonna be well has to be is a tune. It did kind of like spirit it around the block to see how the car uh, felt. It absolutely needs a tune. It needed a tune before. We never finished a tune the last time we went to tune. Uh, the last time he was there, if you go back in my videos, the fuel rail popped off off of the stock intake manifold and showered the uh, Garcia brothers in E85 and we cut the tuning session right then and there. So I guess next steps is going to tune since we did do the cams, ITBs, and I really want to see what the car makes for power now. I'm hoping for 240. If not, it is what it is. I might K-swap it. I might say fuck it and just leave it as it is. I'm just about to say I cuss like anybody gets to this part besides the YouTube sensors. 
I'm just here ranting to fill out the rest of the video myself. So. So on top of the uh, ITBs, we also did a lot of the Jays racing, uh, chasing Jays, not Jays racing, chasing Jays. Titanium catalog, we've got the titanium bolts all up the fender lines, the shock towers front and back, even though you can't see the back ones. I like symmetry. If I did the front, I had to do the back. Uh, the studs for the intake manifold, the studs for the exhaust manifold, coil pack cover, coil pack bolts, VTEC solenoid, tool tray cover, and just about anything else they had for the S2000. The steering wheel bolts as well. So that's the current state of the S2000. I think the next car I'm going to start working on is the Prelude because that one has a lot more sentimental value to me more, uh, more so now. So that's the car I brought Mojo home in and it means a lot more to me now, now that I don't have Mojo anymore. So I think that's the next one and I have a, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do with it. Figured it's something I chit-chatted with Mojo back and forth since he was the head of R&D here. We're going to go that route and stick that plan out and do something different with the Prelude that I haven't seen before. Not that the K-Swap wasn't different already, it's just I want something different. So, we'll join you next time. We'll probably be more, a little more S2000 stuff before we get to the Prelude. I'm still gathering some parts and I'm waiting for some parts in development to come out. And then uh, we'll get going on the Prelude and do it on all fours. We'll catch you next time. Fucking mosquito, get off the lens.